Hi there, this is gonna be a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Hi Capricorns, thank you for being so very, very, very patient. Um, I am a Capricorn moon, so you know, I take on a lot of the Capricorn characteristics. I'm an Aquarius sun, Gemini rising. So this is gonna be general. This could, could resonate with you if it's your sun, moon rising, or Venus sign, and it depends. If you are a Capricorn cross watcher, it may even resonate for you. The energies might be flipped. All right, let's just get right into it. This is for December 2018 for Capricorns. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy right here. Sorry, with the King of Pentacles. Someone's a manifester. Someone is very grounded, very well established. Could be a female. Doesn't It doesn't matter. King or queen. It's the energy. Someone is very, very well manifested. They're very established. They're not a rookie in whatever sense of the word that would mean. Whether this is because they're seasoned. Whether this is because they're young but very experienced. I don't know what this means. I don't know if this means they're very manifested, like money-wise. Very successful. Well, no, it could be all of the above, honey. But this is just somebody that's very well established, established and seasoned, male or female. The lovers could be a Gemini. It's so somebody who has this quality about them that is very godly, like if it's a male, very goddess, like if it's a female. extreme sexual attraction here extreme sexual attraction between you and a person the world could have met them while traveling this is also distance you guys may not be speaking now may have uh, taken a break from each other or completely broken up long distance relationship completion of a huge life cycle also Something is done. Something is completed here. And for some of you, something's coming back around, coming back full circle. Which, you know, I've been channeling the full circle thing for quite some time. Since, I forget when it was. It could have even been August, the full circle. Death. Death is endings and new beginnings. Told you full circle. It's like the circle of life is what it reminds me of. Death and a new beginning. Endings, new beginnings. For some of you, it is a Scorpio you're dealing with. So we got Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is a rebirth. Something you thought was dead comes back around. But does it mean you got to entertain it? You got to figure that out. Hierophant is Taurus. Hierophant's marriage commitment. Two of Pentacles. Trying to find the right balance. Someone here is trying to find the right balance. They're very invested in their career. They're trying to find the right balance to allow love to come in. Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, communication. It's a breakthrough too. Someone here has this aha moment. You or them. Capricorns are notorious for working really hard. So this fits right into exactly what I'm feeling. That somebody here needs to find the right balance. That they are very, very much so a workaholic. Very into their work. Um, you know, Capricorns are just that way. They want to be very stable, very grounded financially. That's why I'm the way that I am, like my Capricorn moon. I'm, I'm also bougie because my Capricorn moon also, but it's also why I'm extremely, extremely driven and hardworking. And I just like that financial stability. You know, Capricorns, the tarot card for us is the devil. So, you know, we do struggle with a lot of restrictions sometimes, whether it's because we restrict ourselves, whether it's because it's addictions, codependencies, you know, all the things that fall into the um, the devil card. It could be any one of those things. Um, this is literally about you finding balance. I'm so curious what your second spread is going to be in the extended version, which we are going to go ahead and do right now. So if you guys want to see that reading, go ahead and click on the box below. The, uh, the link is there. 
For those that want to follow me on social media, XI underscore Missy underscore XI. Don't forget, I'm coming to New York next month. If you guys want to come to see me, my tickets are already on sale. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Love you.